I meet a lot of people who want to use the didgeridoo for meditation or who appreciate the didgeridoo for meditation music. Um, I will take my didgeridoo to yoga classes or to kirtans or, or drum circles and people will be able to enter a more meditative trance-like state based on, on the sounds of the didgeridoo. So what I'd like to share with you is how you may use the didgeridoo as a meditation rather than as an instrument. And the, the difference is pretty simple. When we think about playing the didge, we are thinking, we are coming at it from the mind. So no meditation is a mental action. It's actually meditation is a no mental space. So in order to step past the mind with the didgeridoo, we must descend into the body. And we do this through literal observation of the physical vibration of the didgeridoo as it arises within the body. And as a person that plays the didgeridoo, you're going to be able to feel the vibration more strongly than the person who is sitting nearby and hearing the didgeridoo. The vibration for the person that plays the didgeridoo is stronger than for the person who is sitting and listening. However, for the person that is sitting and listening, it turns into a meditation as well. Um, you can literally feel the vibration, or you can, can hear it with your ears and, and tune out or do whatever you need to do to find that space for yourself. But for the didgeridoo player, the, the key for me has been to find the long, slow drones and to learn how to play in a very slow, controlled, practiced manner. You know, so many people that I see play the didgeridoo very aggressively, very fast, very you know, almost violently. And there's so much more that can be done with the didgeridoo when you take your time with things. The didgeridoo can be played for as long as you can breathe, as long as you want to play. If you are able to control your breathing, and to master the airflow. So, as I said earlier, in order to really step past the mind and the thinking part of the didgeridoo, you really do want to feel the vibration of the didge within the body. You can feel it within your the skull of your head. You can feel it vibrating in your chest. You're going to feel that didgeridoo vibrating all the bones in your entire skeletal system. And the trick is to allow yourself to feel more and more of what the body does when it plays the didgeridoo to relax the muscles that are involved, to relax your posture, and to slow down that breathing so that your long drones begin to kick in and then the, the alpha theta brain waves will, will transfer or will begin to happen and we shift from the, the hectic beta mindset, the fight and fights and flight survival mechanism into a more intuitive expression. The other thing that works very well when using the didgeridoo for meditation is to set a breathing pattern similar to the heartbeat where it's uh, slow and you dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. It's, it's not a fast aggressive rhythm. Again, what we're looking to do is entrain the mind, quiet the mind, and to find a deeper aspect to ourselves that is always present and that we just simply have not seen before. And the didgeridoo is a wonderful, wonderful tool for doing this. The other benefit to learning how to meditate with the didgeridoo is that it's a natural way to master your breathing. All ancient mystic traditions will teach you that breath is the key to meditation, that breath is the bridge between the mind and, and the energy field. So when you learn how to use the didgeridoo, and you learn how to breathe and master your breath, you may find yourself through the course of the day checking your breathing and checking your posture and observing 
how your body is responding to a situation and how your breathing patterns will change based on the situations or environments or relationships or the activities of the moment. So when you learn to dig and you learn to breathe and you learn to feel the body and its response to the breath, you develop an awareness that simply observes that you can then take into the rest of your, your life. And the benefits of that have been for me quite transformational. I, I have so many stories that I could share about this um, that I don't need to right now. That all I will say is that it, learning to play this, learning to breathe properly, learning to breathe into the abdomen has been probably one of the best things that has happened for my life. So if you are looking to learn how to play the didgeridoo as an instrument, I would encourage you to look further, to explore the real potentials of this, this wonderful, wonderful musical equipment. And for those of you who are already interested in the didgeridoo as a meditation, I hope that you may experiment with the literal, visceral, vibratory sense, you know, I'm talking about feeling sense here, of the didgeridoo within the body, and to allow that vibration to still and calm the mind. So I, I hope that this information will benefit you in your attempts to use the didgeridoo as a, as a meditation.